Wi Fi. What about people that are like, oh, jalapeno is too hot, it's too spicy for me, my palate can't handle it? What do you say to those people? Fuck them. Are they doomed to die a low temperature life? They got a couple of walnuts coming their way. Oh my god. You gotta, you gotta have a bag of walnuts around your neck. You gotta hand those out to your team. You don't think I do? Although, she squirrels ate all the walnuts around my house this past season. Oh, I would have killed them. All over. They're just like looking That's at my me in the living. Eye. I'd be like sitting there writing my gratitudes or whatever. Got to write gratitudes every day. Got to be grateful for something. But looking up in the trees and they're just staring at me. Just drop them, get to the next one. There's just shells all over the place out here. You got to get a 22. I like squirrels. I like animals around here. I love my neighbors. Oh, I love squirrels too, but not eat my walnuts. No, well... Being the livelihood, marinating nut, you gotta. I feel like they. I've never heard a squirrel problem as a factor for marinating nuts. They keep their shit on lockdown. They kill them. <laughs> they kill them. Send them out. Yeah, I'll send you out there. 22, son. <laughs> Do you like paint your face? Do you ever send you out there? Calvin, go, go bag me. Oh. Dennis Marini come up to you, go bag me 20 of those motherfuckers. I bring them back. Yeah. Heads, pelts. Whole thing Tails. strung up by the tail. Little nuts. By oh. little nuts, I mean large nuts. Proportion, I, proportionally, the nuts go nuts back into the orchard for the nuts that they've taken. Testicles. Oh, do you just hang them from the tree? No, no, no. Grind them up, put them on the ground. Feeds the soil. I, I dig it. Feeds us. Feeds us. Very good. Uh, Jollies on to the quarters. Jalapenos, absolutely. Um, we got Twist versus... The People's Champ. I'm going to go twists. I'm going to go twists. Fuck the people's champ. People's <laughs> champ is suck my toes. I'm going twists. Twists are outrageous. You can't dip them. You don't dip twists. No, no, no. You These do are not. That's one stand, thing we'll agree on. You do not. This is stand alone you do not. juggernaut. If you dip twists, oh my God. By twists, if anybody's just tuning in right now, it is Frito's Honey Barbecue Twists with the nice, I got to say, their bag, it is mostly black with charcoal gray with red and dark yellowish orange. Like, it is just such an appetizing bag. You see the, the twist just blast out from the bottom. Amazing. And you open it and they're all the same size. There's no, a couple halves. You're just- Not you're, really in quarters. You're not, you're There's not, not real quarters in there. No, you're just, you're really excited to have a bag of twists. And I think they clown on, what are the, the people's champ? Get out of here. Who do they think they are? We're writing in the twist. Twist. I have a, a Sharpie if you'd like. No, I like to just rip up the name. All right, what we got here? We got nacho cheese versus... Flaming hot... Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. French onion. French onion. So, I just... It's not that I don't respect how good the nacho cheese Dorito is. I feel like it is iconic. It is delicious. It is a staple. It might as well be the red or the red, white, and blue of the United States flag. But it's so mainstream. It's so uh, I'm not a socialist, man. It is just so. <laughs> it's just out there, and it's 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 expected that you love it, and it is delicious. But it's just part of me is just like fuck the mainstream and what is supposed to be. Why not shake things up with? Something that people aren't expecting yeah. that maybe they will love. How do you feel about taxes? Not a fan, but no, I understand like that. So here, here's what I'm about with taxes. I want, I understand that we all need to pay our way to society. So roads are made, so people are paid, so you know you can uh, privatize are, that, huh? You can privatize that. You can privatize it. I just, I want public servants, say like teachers or whatever. I want people to get paid that are helping this country be great. I also want transparency in where tax dollars are going. I don't want to see my money going to one piece of shit's pocket who I hate, who's lobbying for X, Y, Z, take away our rights or guns or whatever. Like, just fuck you. I want to see where my tax dollars are going so I can feel good at, about this fist of Uncle Sam going up my ass. Oh, now you're talking about a fist. The fist but you're not of taxes. The fist of taxes. Or a fascist. Going, not a fascist. The fist of taxes is going up everybody's ass. I just feel like if you're going to come to this country, no matter what, like, say we go with immigration, I'm like, come to this country, just do it the right way, and pay taxes. Like, just like our parents a, and grandparents did. Just pay come taxes. on in, sign your name. Sign your name. And you're free. And just pay, like, we're all, we're all part of it. Let's all pitch in, and let's all, like, benefit from where our tax dollars are going. Hopefully our parks are going. Hopefully education gets better or whatever. Obviously that's not happening. Doesn't. Um... 
Thank goodness we're talking about chips today. <laughs> <laughs> we'll solve the Here world we are. tomorrow. I just, I need to do a lot more. I'm fairly ignorant when it comes to like research and whatnot, but I just So you're can't going stand it. French onion to the French finals. onion over nacho cheese, just as a personal and uh, 100% bias. That's what I do with all these pretty much. That's perfect. It's 100% bias because I love pissing people off. I'm Fantastic. with you. Oh my god! I mean, I'm not with you because I had flaming hot going to the finals. Yeah, yeah. But, but I'm not going to argue but, with you at this point on that side of the bracket. But this other side, <laughs> that's why, like in in this uh, next, because this won't be your last bracket here. I love bracketeering with you, sir. Love going through this with you. It's been a great experience. So I feel like we need a third. Oh wow! The tiebreaker, where it's not just King Aaron just smashing his gavel, saying French onion makes it to the championship. Because I, I mean, should have brought the pregnant woman. Would she have been down? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I mean, she had cheer, but she would have been down. Mm, for sure. Well, next time, if she's down. I want to get Rachel on a podcast before she gives birth and then afterwards. Yeah. but uh, Before and after pod? Yeah, why not? Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. That'd be a, too- that'd be a good one. God, can you imagine just pushing out just a giant poopy? 8.5 pound poopy. <laughs> How big's your 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 baby girl coming out? Not eight pounds. No, that's no. that's a hefty, hefty. She's hefty. measuring average to small. Very, very good. She's healthy though. Like you, you said, you had a sonogram good. earlier. Everything's all good. She baby. in a good position, ready to just burst heads out. down. So let's go. Yep. As long as she doesn't flip upside down, we're chilling. You think on Thanksgiving she'll she'll come out? No, it's due beginning in November. Sandwich. Beginning. All right, that'll be a cool little birthday. Oh, it's, yeah, it's elite. She'll be born oh my like God, her. a couple weeks later. we got Thanksgiving with the fam. Thanksgiving with the, the baby. fam. I remember. And you got Christmas. Oh, my God. And it's during school. So you get to dazzle all your classmates with some Calvi cooking or with your mom, uh, her mom's, whatever. Like, does Rachel do good cupcakes or cakes or anything like that? It's all good. Because you got to bring it in. <laughs> you bring it in and you dazzle your classmates. For me, like, as an August birthday... I brought an oaky cake from Grandma Gertz. Uh, from oh my Grandma god, Barb. that's delicious! Oh my, but it's like, when do I do it? Because I had a, a summer birthday and I didn't want to. But there's no school during August. Oh. How do I do that? So I would just like pick a random time, I guess. But it's just like I wanted to bring my classmates, let them know, hey, I get this more often than you. Acknowledge me, suck bitches. my toe. Acknowledge me. My God, who doesn't acknowledge love, my grandma? Who doesn't love affirmation slash acknowledgement, especially at that age? Nobody. Nobody, Nobody. doesn't love it. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Oh my goodness. Holy Anyways, shit. Talking chips. Talking French chips. French onion. Makes it to the finals. Oh, and now jalapeno versus twist. Ooh. Sandwich. Ooh, damn. I'm gonna need damn. You damn. This is to tough. Sit down. This for is a good. Second. All right. All right. Because all right. everything you've been saying oh. about why a chip is good is exactly why the jalapeno kettle chip beats the twist. Every reason you've talked about. Give me reasons. Dipability, mm-hmm. crunchability, flavor. durability, flavor. Not too much and overpowering, just enough. You walk in a deli shop, you're not picking a fucking twist no, over a jalapeno you're not. chip. The bag's thick, there's more there. Bang for your buck. Jolly is the way, says Santa. <laughs> Jolly is the way. Mic drop as well. Calvi, I'm not going to lie. That is a good set down. Solid set down. Like um, I'd be a fool to disagree with you. I'd be a fool to to counteract anything. It's like we, I think we can Here comes acknowledge the, the... There's no but. We can acknowledge the, no but. the deliciousness that is the uh, Honey Barbecue Twists. But compared to Hollywood... <laughs> <Hollywood, laughs> there's the well, but! but it's a, there's the it's but! It's a bad but... It's but, but. <laughs> Compared to jalapeno kettle chips, it's like when you're having it with anything else. Anything else. Like you go to a Super Bowl party, you're not going to see a giant bowl of honey barbecue twist. You're going to see a bowl of jalapeno kettle chips. You're going to see a bowl of French onion chips. You're going to see... Uh, and this is why I like that we're doing a different bracket. Because this is so much different from what these fools that follow my Instagram voted for. And uh, all 10 people listening to The Tap are going to love to know that I am all for jal- jalapeno. Well, I got one right into the finals. Chips. So. Oh, there you go. It's hard to disagree with that, though. Like You not, you, you pitch it so well. I feel like if you're anybody, 
say I was a woman and you gave me like that sort of pitch to just make love to you at a bar in college, like there's no saying no. Not because you force yourself, because there's just like it's what the, else? It's the implication. To do with me? The implication of fear. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a real Dennis Reynolds? A real no, life Dennis no. Reynolds? <laughs> that guy, I see myself as more of like a Charlie. You're Charlie that I'd want to have sex with, though. Charlie well, in the yeah, show is just like, Jesus count, but, Christ. Uh, yeah, I, I see myself <laughs> more as like a country Frank. Or a country a, Mac. A country Mac. Okay, yeah. very good. Country Mac. I was thinking Frank, too, but. No, Frank's good. Yeah, I'm a little taller than Frank. Mantis. Country <laughs> Mac. Dude. Country Mac that is not mentally just ill. Just dies on his motorcycle going over a speed bump. <laughs> <laughs> That happens. That's how he dies. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. I, I never he goes over it. speed bump and then goes over sideways and dies. I never saw the end of the show. That's how he's he, a homosexual. And they all die. Sin. So yeah. Well, serves him right. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Amen. I didn't see the end. So the show's over. Um. I mean, I haven't seen the newest season. Mac goes over his speed bump and dies. No, no, no. Country Mac. Country Mac. Oh, the there country? is a. Co- oh my God. Yeah, it's you're his right. cousin. Uh, he jumps off the bridge. He's like a total savage. But oh, it's uh, Sean William Scott. Yeah. Oh, my. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Country Mac. I just watched that episode. Very good. I need to watch the end of that show. I, it deserves my the last of the uh, They also seasons. played Charlie McDennis a second time, which... A second time? Because Dennis and Dee win the first time. They've won every time. <laughs> they must have been fucking running maybe out of not ideas. The, maybe not the second time. Who ah. knows? <laughs> Um, Dude, what? the second time they make flags and oh. Frank is Frank's flag is four F's that looks like a swastika <laughs> <laughs> and he's like I didn't really think that through and they're like yes you did and he's like <laughs> Classic Frank. Dude. Dude, he saved that show. Literally, oh. Danny Vito saved that show because they didn't have him the first season. They gel so well together. Oh, the, the, the listen, chemistry in that show. Distracting. Yeah. Oh, okay, very good. Jolly uh, got? versus French onion. Man. See, this is like, this is why I don't want to let people vote. I need to pull American government and just fucking rig everything. Uh, because what was, what was on my online, when I put on Instagram, the people voted, it came down to nacho cheese Doritos versus cheddar and sour cream ruffles. What kind of finals is that? It's the same chip, essentially. Essentially, it's just like, all right, yeah, they're both good, mainstream, whatever. This is, this is something I think people can dabble with. I feel like I need to make a separate Instagram post with French onion sun chips versus jalapeno kettle chips. These are two wildly different flavors, I wildly think you're different gonna be genres. Disappointed in the outcome of that, if you. Uh, that I know post. I would. I know it would be. Everybody's all right. Let it be known. I get the impression that the world. Is going to vote jalapeno kettle yeah, chips. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. But this isn't about the world, Sandwich. This is I about, know. This is about you and I here now. Mm-hmm. And listen, if my bracket's shot, I'm all about French onion winning. I'm all about it. Yeah? Fuck it. Why not? Look at us. Look at us. Look so, at us. So, all right, I got a channel back because at one point on oh, this Oh, let podcast, me say hello to future Calvi. Who's running right now and is hating? Is he running? Oh, you're, oh my, you're totally listening to this while you're running. He's hating Peter life. Calvi. But listen, don't be a pussy. If Dylan Nay saw you running right now at your 9:58 pace, he would <laughs> he would uh, he would throw up at the sight of you. Pick it up. Keep running. Pick the pace up. I remember you your do it. quote from the Yours, Mine's Cap and Danielle's podcast. Mommy, I shit my pants. Ah. <laughs> uh, once upon a time, I did this podcast, and I did the best of 90s movies. You know who I picked as the number one? Dumb and Dumber. Over Jurassic Park. Over Shawshank. Over, Dra- uh, what was that other 90s great movie? Jurassic, did I say Jurassic Park? Yep. Shawshank. Forrest Gump. He didn't say Forrest Gump the first time. I didn't say time Forrest there. Gump. They're, they're all there. All the greatest 90s movies. In this case, Calvi, if I'm going to, hold on a second. Let me, all right, let me get, get some rant juice going here. All right. If you're going to burn it down, you might as well burn it down. Oh, there we go. All right. You don't shoot Elijah Craig, but I'm going to do it. Okay. In this chip, we got French onion. We got French onion versus jalapeno kettle. You know what I'm going to go with? You know it because I respect your opinion. What, what, do you, what do you go with? What do you like? 
This is your this is your time. Right, you give me you give me the stage. This is your time. Stage. All right, here we go. Holy shit! Shout ah, out. It's burning. We well, you know what we're gonna go with oh, Calvi. I'm going with French onion fucking sun chips. Woo! Nobody else expects it. It's a thin slice. Oh, you're gonna get a thin slice. You're gonna get some flavor. Jalapeno kettle. You're giving me a glob of grease with half a fucking potato. <laughs> I don't want that on my sandwich. Woo! It's delicious. It's delightful. But I want the French onion. It's slender. Woo! It's sleek. Woo! They give you everything you want. You put that in your bag next to your sandwich and your fruit roll up. Your double stuffed Oreos. I want it all. Woo! I want French onion. It's the Woo! best. I'm spitting all over. Green. And everybody hates it. Oh my god, I ejaculated twice. <laughs> it is green Woo. bag French onion sun chips. I told you 20 minutes ago it's gonna be sun chips. I gotta stick with it. That's Have why to. I put it in this. Is it as good as cheddar sun chips? I don't know. <laughs> it's, <laughs> sun chips are fun. It's a heater. It is heater. Um, all right, so I'm going French onion sun chips as the goat. In this one, all right, let's let's just go over it. Yep. You were going flaming hot all the way. I had flaming hot beaten garden salsa, which you voted out. You're so. not wrong. Oh, okay. And then I had flaming hot beaten nacho cheese, and then flaming hot beaten jalapeno. But it's okay. It's not about me. Uh, There's the reason I'm a guest on this show. Is it not, though? But it's just nope. like I value your opinion. It's not. I just I do value. So, all right, I guess if we're at this point, heavy hitters that didn't make. Didn't the, make that it. I didn't even think about. Because there's like garden salsa Doritos. I like Green to call bag. this segment honorable unmentioned. Honorable unmentioned. What kind not of sound? honorable mention. Honorable unmentioned. What kind of sound effect do you want for this? Doom. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> First uh, and foremost, you are a savage for not putting salsa verde Doritos in yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, what the? F- I went mainstream. Fudge went mainstream. is wrong I with went you. Mainstream. That is mainstream. I need to go. Well, I, I, more mainstream than than nacho cheese. Well, you only put ranch. two Doritos in here. There's like. Four could have made it. In here. I, I, there, you could have taken Dur- a Pringles Honestly, out. Doritos could have filled this entire left. You could have taken Pringles out and put two more. Yeah, I think second. Nobody cares about Pringles anymore. I'm gonna fetch a, a Coors real quick just to put out this fire that I just lit. But, Salt but talk to me. I'm, I'm listening. And vinegar no. lays. Oh. Yes, you don't have a microphone, so they can't hear you. Sandwich says, "Oh my God, salt and vinegar should have won." You're right. Unbelievable that he wouldn't put this in here. Unbelievable. Look at the cat. The cat is out of control. He's out of control. Can't believe you didn't put that in here. Uh, which, uh, the, I just, it's too sour for me. I, I'm not. Yeah, we get it. It's we get all it. like, it makes me do this like, instead of like, hmm, that's good. It, it upsets me it. to see that product still in perpetuation uh, to the masses. Real, very upsetting I that this is, this is even referred to as a flavor. It makes me sick. Firmly disagree. Yeah. Third honorable unmentioned, sabritones. Sabriton. Or sabritones. I don't know how to say it correctly. Dude. Oh, my God. But you don't have any, any freaking service. Is that like a Mexican chip? Yes, it's a Mexican chip. Really? When did you uh, come about it? This is... Like, if I go into a store and yeah. I see Sabritones or Sabritones. What, what's, what do they bring to the table? Are they like a chili powder? If I may no, make, it's a, like, if I may make it's a racist li- assessment. It's, it's like lime and chili powder. It, it tastes chili. like you sprayed lime and chili powder on them. I'm going, I'm going to get, try to get a little head on this you one. You eat a whole bag of I'm, them. Oh, I got head. I got head. You eat a whole bag of them and your tongue is raw. How about that Makes head? The best. How that's about sick. that head? Dude, that's perfect head. Oh, God. That's 9.6. Ooh. It didn't get like... To get a ten, you gotta go over the top. A little bit get, over, you, just you gotta not, like excite people a little bit. Like, go over the side. Is he about to? Then you're like, oh, he's good. Uh, anyways, sab- sabatones. Uh, limon lays, just lays original, but limon mm. in the green bag that not gives bad. you enough tart. Yeah, but it's great. I got you. Here's a sleeper. You didn't even not even on your fucking radar, dude. Three D Doritos. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Spicy that's- oh, Ranch. Oh shit. Spicy. You're out of control. 
right. You're out of control with those three. Those puffs, triangle puffs. Yeah, yeah. Oh with man. A ranch like Doritos Damn. ranch, but they're spicy too at the same time. You gotta call me out in such a way. Those I mean, are like early two thousand. We're talking about gems. honorable unmentioned. Yeah, um, honorable for sure. Unmentioned, an understatement. I should have left that to last. Um, this last one's over under. Oh now. man, uh, I recall those being. Two flavors. Better than good. Uh, my mommy would get those uh, in my brown bag. They'd come crunched a little bit. There's some like survivors that would be puffed, but like it was an event. Don't like to get can, those, I'm I like, don't think this you can is, brown bag those. You can't, but the break the breakability is high. But they're also so those? delicious. But even if they're broken, I'm just like, this is so good. I was so good. Excited to see those. And I don't know if you recall, they're they're like a, a cheese it adjacent not i wouldn't say a chip but they're called uh, sports with a z at the end of it and they're like a tennis racket a football a basketball oh, a soccer wow. ball but they're crackers and flavor wow. they're so good oh my god nothing natural about them just <laughs> genetically engineered super slop just like jack-in-the-box tacos the best oh my god we uh, we, we gotta do an entire recap podcast on your folly and goddamn i just rewatched it with nick jesus San Francisco. christ we, uh, we gotta do better we gotta have to, I, i'm down to do 20 jack-in-the-box tacos with you but in an hour setting. I'm never eating another Jack in the Box taco. After that, it's just, it baffled me that. I'd rather get the egg rolls. It, it was just Box. like, not only were they not fresh, but not even to be warmed up. You went cold. Yeah, I fucked all that up. Oh, my. It wasn't I just, one part of that I did. I fuck love up. the fact that you look at Skylar after he's, he looks at the camera like, $100 on Calvary, he's got it, and you're like, <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> I never uh, thought I was going to do on it. On his bachelor party. <laughs> there was not one part of me that thought that was actually going to happen. Oh, but I gave my. it a valiant effort. Uh, you I did what you could. I did didn't just could. walk away. I could have easily No, done you did not walk away. <clears throat> but I also knew I wasn't going to throw up. So. Oh, goodness. Yeah, to throw, like, we're there for a good time. Like, no. Anyways, um, your honorable mentions. And, and last so three, but not least. That, that's a great, if I may. 3D Doritos I probably should have ended with. fantastic. Because this last one is not it nearly as good as got? a 3D Dorito. Spicy sweet chili Doritos, the purple bag. Spicy sweet chili. I don't think I've ever had those. They're in the purple bag. Pretty try good. Them. Delicious. Yeah, those are excellent supplemental uh, choices. And there's like there's one that's arguably my favorite. So here's my top three. What you got? And to be honest, my second of top three probably wins the bracket if it's in here. In my opinion, the entire bracket. If it's in my personal opinion. You're allowed to have a personal opinion here. Top three. Number one to me, and this is interchangeable with number two. Number one, no surprise, Hot Cheetos. Bang. Everybody, everybody could have seen that one coming. Yep. But number two, and this is why... In this bracket, I just see it as a little bit of a fraud. You don't have any mention of Funyuns in here. Oh, that's not a chip. Of that's, Funyuns? That's not a chip. If I go into a gas station, the first chip I'm picking is Funyuns. The second p- chip I'm picking, Flamin' Hot Funyuns. The third chip I'm picking, Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Funyuns... Funyuns what are. What is a funyun though? I, I it's wouldn't an say it's an onion. A chip. It's not crisp. a chip. It's a chip. I wouldn't say. What, so what aisle do they sell them in? They're amongst the chips because they are like chip adjacent. They're not really a chip. It's like a free. It's like a, a Cheeto. A Cheeto. You put is Cheeto like, in this bracket. I did. I, it, Don't argue with me on this. No, I put Funyun Cheetos there. I should have put Cheetos, Cheez Its, Elite the Twists. There's like deep fried. Sloppy monstrosities that deserve their own bracket, and Cheetos are amongst them. As are Cheez Its. I and put a, like a a penis ejaculating next to the <laughs> Funyuns <laughs> because that's what I think about uh, Funyuns. Funyuns are good. Well, I mean, I mean, I didn't put Bugles on here. Do you yeah, know who like, Richard Rot is? Richard Rot or wrote. He's no, in Friends. I know Richard Rubio. Seinfeld, Dallas, and dozens of other shows. He gone. He gone. Get out of here first. He did. He did. So yeah, Funyuns. And then my third top three of all time: Hot Cheetos, Funyuns, Intermixable. Mm -hmm. Tie for third: Spicy Nacho Doritos. You don't fucking have those on here. 
They're good. The dark red, dark yeah, red bag. That's they're the good. best Dorito. You had those at your uh, UFC event the other yeah, day. And they're the best Doritos. Beautiful little house. Mm, the best those Doritos. Are, those are and another Travis. Are those going to be over nacho cheese and ranch? I mean, come yes, on. they are. Those are the top of the pyramid, man. Those are the top of Spicy the Spicy nachos, top of the pyramid. The over regular? Yeah, 100%. It's not even close. And third, <laughs> this is a tie for third. Spicy nacho and you being white, we have white. Just a travesty to this entire bracket. Travis. Turbos flamas. Turbos Nowhere flamas. even on your radar. KS. They're curly like the twist, KS. but they're spicy. Turbos flamas. Okay, I'll buy you some. Unbelievable. Please do. This is, this is a travesty that I have to fucking deal with. Where did you learn of this? Turbos flamas. The winter I've never store. Even heard of it. Every single gas station in America sells turbos flamas. Turbos Flamas. Nunco oyo. I don't know Stupido. if I said that. Right. Stupido. Yeah, possibly. Stupido. So, yeah, that's me. I'm Here uncultured I am. swine. Wow. You're bringing to the table things I've never even seen or heard about. Oh, well, next time you do a chip bracket, you need to try a lot of chips. Do you think we could do like a Mexican chip bracket, like on itself? Like, is Absolute. there enough brands? No. Yeah? No, no, no. No. But you should have done like American versus not American. There's so many. I know. It's like, do we just do like deep fry, like deep fry bracket, or like what's it, uh, uh, my buddy's little sister uh, damned on Instagram? Like, hey, like you need to do like best candy, like talking Butterfinger, I'm Reese's, in bo- I'm on board Snickers. With Nick and Nick has said that he's what talked that? to you about this. You should do a f- four five person mm. draft with something like chips. And it's just like a fantasy football draft. Somebody picks number one, and then it goes two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. Then five, four, three, two, one. Then one, two, three, four, five. And you have six rounds. And at the end, you post your rosters, and then the people vote on who has the best roster. Mmm. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It levels everything. It's, it's personal, but it's also what do you think the people will vote for. I like it. It brings a lot more of a screwball into it. I like screwballs. People there, you could do a couple different drafts in one day. I feel like you, Nick, Brent, Dylan, A, Diggler. Absolutely. Nick's also a very loyal listener to the tap. Honorable slider. Got some great sliders. Sandwich. Calvi. Dylan. Mm -hmm. Nick. Mm -hmm. Sky. Sky. There's others out there. There's sometimes there's uh, Brent, Anthony Martinez, Brent Travis. there. There's people like, I'm not Ray. sure how much Travis, Travis listens. Like, there's some people I know listen to it, but I think there's sleepers out there that I don't know because there's random times. Cap. Cap will give a dabble when he's when he's not working. <laughs> he's a food he's a food guy, though. Yeah, Foodie. Him and Danielle, food. big foodies, Cap's wife. Shout out to the Smiths. Shout out to, Shout the, out Smiths. to the Smiths. Long live the Smiths. Um, so... The world, Calvi. If you may go through your bracket of the world, flip it to the other side. I appreciate you being economical and environmental using both sides of a sheet of paper. You could have went two pages. Oh, I did go two pages. Oh my <laughs> God! You sick. I wrote in Sharpie. It would have been. Uh, it would totally would have. This is how I, I think the, yeah, the normal, man. the normal <laughs> everyday citizen would have voted. All right, this is the uh, the assumed. This people. is assumed. Yeah. I mean, the people chose sour cream, but. Or I mean, they're cream. not wrong, but they're certainly not right. I think the normal people would vote nacho cheese over ranch. Yeah, naturally. They'd ne- vote pizza over spicy Pringles. They would vote. Garden salsa or French onion. I I can see I can totally see the average that person. Reason. See, and this is where I'm gonna this is where I'm gonna fucking level with you here. I said the average person would vote regular Cheetos over no hot Cheetos. No shit, that's a tough that's a tough one. I just think that the mass of that, people mm, would rather take regular Cheetos over hot Cheetos. I don't know. I might. I think there's I don't a know. lot more children in this world than you think there are, and they would all prefer. Almost you all. think so? Yeah, like kid kids. Do you think we're tainted by winter's preferences? Because I feel yeah. like winter's in general prefers spicy, uh, yeah, and hot Cheetos. I think the general population would take regular Cheetos. Damn. They would take OG Lay's over the two flavors you pitted. That's a it. tough one to swallow, but I must swallow it. Data wise, it's not that tough because they are I hate literally that. year I over year data. highest grossing chip. Jalapeno kettle over barbecue. 
twists over chili cheese Fritos, which mm-hmm. we already said, and cheddar sour cream ruffles over barbecue. Okay? Yeah. Then in the uh, what would this be? The nacho the nacho the nacho tiny. cheese had that had a, a sure what I fucked up because nacho cheese Doritos had a, a sure cake fire way into the, the quarters. At, yeah, at quarter, least the quarters. quarters at least, yeah. So nacho beats pizza, duh. Then I said regular Cheetos beats out really salsa. I think that I can I agree. can respect it. I can respect the it. The average person in the world would probably agree. Mm-hmm. OG Lay's beats jalapeno kettles. Grossing. I'd say if everybody this ain't just this is twenty everybody. through thirty five year old demographic. This is this kids, is everybody. grandparents too. Older people love original Lay's. That's all they eat. And then uh, the people's choice cheddar sour cream beats out the twist on an average yeah. American standpoint. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Average American standpoint, I'm telling you. Twists are too woke. Regular Cheetos beats out nacho cheese Doritos. You think so? I think so. It's the same chip. It's just one's clumped and But there's tight. millions of little kids out there that love Cheetos. You think Cheetos over nacho che- cheese Doritos? I think. That is a fucking awesome battle. That's an awesome That's a really battle. good because it's it's Regular the same flavor kind of but what's nacho cheese Doritos. they both leave finger lickability. Those are two Goliaths. I guess There's if no one David is dippable, you don't dip cheat it Cheetos. You don't you dip, dip nacho dip. cheese Doritos. No, you either. don't. You don't. It's a level playing field. Well, so what what what's the separator? Uh I think the the vertical chip traditional looking chip, yeah. No, no, Cheeto. Oh, che- oh Circular, Cheeto. like cylindrical. Yes. Torpedo. And it crunches. Is, is just, you can fit four of those in your mouth. How many well, Doritos are you getting in your mouth? Oh, like eight. Yeah, but if it's I'm a going struggle. Higher. Well, so what's the difference between a Doritos crunch and a cheese a Cheeto crunch? There's more air in a Cheeto crunch. Is a little there, more forgiveness. Is it the same word? Yeah. That's I. Mm, I've never even thought about it. what's better: it nacho cheese Dorito or Cheeto. Cheeto. I guess it just comes down to you, like you have to make a decision. You have to. And I said, I think the I general do, I pop. I guess I'll go Cheeto with you. I'll, I'll, Gen pop. I'll, I'll go Cheeto with you. Gen pop marketing. Uh, flavor just. just I w- I'll uh, give it to Doritos. They've had amazing accessibility. To a Cheeto? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're getting into it, for sure. Uh, OG versus Cheddar, the People's Champ Ruffles versus OG Lays. The OG Lays wins in a landslide. I don't think it's close. As the ch- as the chip. As moving on into as the America's finals. As trip. And moving on to the finals versus the regular Cheetos. Regular you'll, never, Cheetos. You, you'll never hear me on the, admit it on this podcast. I'll tell you that much. You'll listen, never hear me admit it. Listen to this old no, person matchup yeah, of yeah, regular yeah. Cheetos versus OG Lays. It's OG Lays. OG Lays Between grosses, those two, I'll go, Cheeto, I'll go Cheetos with it. It grosses more money every year than any other chip. Yep. It's been around longer. That's the X factor when it comes to Lay's Originals because there's they have an extra generation paying for it. Exactly. Not just kids. Exactly. It's but old. Between it's young, the two, it's in the middle. Cheeto like Cheetos are such a unique and delightful. Like when you eat it, you it's just fucking good. I love Cheetos. Oh my god. I picked Flamin' Hot Cheetos to win the whole thing, but I'm just an asshole. Flamin' Hot's a little too much. I feel like regular regular is an honest answer to win. Like there is a solid handful that can win this oh yeah a couple, like couple. Oh, yeah. i mean there's and depending like, on the person and depending on the person it's very was it, depending on their subje- upbringing it's subjective right subjective, subjective when it's up to you um so that's it that's what i think the god people, dang it that is really the people good. of this country are picking og lays i mean the data speaks for us you. you hate you, data i'll tell you one thing we're over two hours shocker i, I hope to god that there's enough memory on my laptop to be able to process all of it on iMovie. Doesn't make too much of a difference to me. No, I'll, I'll split the video in half. We'll do, we'll make two episodes out of this. Shocker. Bye! Woo! <laughs> nice. That's a sound effect. <laughs>
I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, you want to hit me with some? Uh... Uh, you want some off the cuff, do you? I got some good ones. I got some good ones. You said, hey, I'm about to, I'm finishing up a drink of Scholar. I'm like, I'll have a drink myself, and I'm going to make 10 off the cuff questions. Ten? You ready for them? I think, I think they're solid. I think they're unique, creative, and, and, and really, really good, relevant to who we are and the world at large. Okay. Mm. Anyways. <laughs> um, <laughs> off the cuff, baby. Are you ready for it? I'm oh, excited. am I ready? Ooh. Does a bear shit in the woods? Last bear, I checked, they do. Yeah, yes, they do. Unless they live in a zoo. Happens. Does a Catholic priest diddle a child? Did with me. Knuckles. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, oh, look at this guy's tongue. Yum, 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 yum. Ah, this anime is so great. Oh, look at JoJo Ghost. Grabs the tongue. This guy's oh, he's getting big. Up. He's getting big. Oh, look. They're all yoked. What a big man. This guy. JoJo's a badass. This is Joseph Joestar. Look at this. Big man. He's not a big man. He's about to get bitched by Joseph. Look, he steps on it. This guy's a, And he's got football pads on. Steps on it. Rips off his tongue. He rips it out. And he puts a little hum on in his face. Anyways. Uh, off the cuff. Off the cuff. I'm ready. If Team Taco had to be represented by a taco, what kind of taco would it be? Wow. Mm-hmm. Ew. Wow. So I'm talking not just, uh, it's something custom. We can go hard shell, we can go soft corn shell, street style, we can go flour, small taco tortilla, like just any kind of taco. Hmm. That's a crazy question. You have a girl dad hat on. Say it was a Team Taco hat. It had a taco as a logo. You and Skylar rocking it. Shout out to Peyton Gertz. <laughs> um, wow. To represent all of Team Taco? All of Team Taco. Shit. I bet Nick's going to have a girl. Him and Tiff are going to have a girl, too. Oh, there's a plethora. I think Brentley's going to be the first guy to have a boy. You think so? Well... Depends on how long he waits, because Skylar and I are having... Well, I'm having a boy next. You guys are having, like, double tacos here, right next to each other. That's going to be great. Then, like, and then run up next to each other. Double be, hot dogs. They're going to be teammates with each other and everything. It's going to be great. Anyway. Uh, I would say it would have, like... It would have to be a street taco. Mm -hmm. Because that is just... Nobody doesn't like it. It's it's well Nobody accepted. doesn't like it. I love that. Um, pleases. It is... Uh, Always, always welcomed. Always liked. What kind of? What kind of? Not controversial. What kind just, of meat we going on there? Yeah, I just have to go carne asada. Everybody loves it. Yeah. Um, regular corn tortilla. Yep. Little double one where it looks like there's kind of like two tortillas with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, onions. If you want them. Cilantro. Absolutely. Um, A dab of salsa. Green or red salsa. Depends. You gotta have a logo. You gotta have one. There's only one, half and half maybe. Then it has to be red. Perhaps a holographic. I would prefer green, but if we're talking about representing everybody. Everybody it has to be red. Sometimes you gotta make concessions to what the majority wants. I suppose. No, not but in this case. No. Not thinking about myself here. I'm thinking about the tacos. I feel like when it comes to tacos, people expect red. If I was thinking know? about myself here. Yeah. The taco would be a queso taco from the place. In Woodland, right across the street from the Safeway by Wild Wings, the where you think, oh, it's a queso taco. It's going to be a tortilla with some melted cheese, and then the meat, and then cilantro and onions, and you eat it. Wrong! What? Wrong. What do you got? Guess what? Mm. No tortilla. The cheese is the tortilla. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, I'm not fucking with you. What is this place this called? The, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> this is the best taco I've Next ever eaten wings? in my life. No, it's in Woodland. It's at the stoplight right there. Yeah. With the, psh, on the corner. It used to be like a diner. Now, it's it was like just a bar cheese. Bar. It's a fucking... They melt cheese into a tortilla-looking patty. And? and they put everything in, and they fold it up, and you're eating cheese and tacos with no tortilla. If I was speaking what? for me, that would be the taco to rule them all. But I'm not. I'm unbiased. Damn, I guess you have to, everybody. you have to, you know, you're, you're a team player if you're on Team Taco. Oof. To be on Team Taco means to be a team player, yes. right? 
Not wow, taco. I gotta try that. We got find out anymore. that name for me. Give me that name if I feel like getting fat one day. Like, Absolutely. You know, Have you had quesadillas at all? Of course. That was Love that it. was high on the list, but Chewy's has a really good one. Not as good as the queso taco. Damn, like literal queso taco. Yeah, that I was shocked. Incredible. I was shocked when it came out. Wow. Um, Shout out Cody Romero. Put me on that. Shout out Cody Romero. Man's about to hook me up with the snowboard and bindings. I heard that. Oh my god. For a guy who's a noob like me to get that kind of like, I'd spend that much money on like a board. I got I got the boots. I'll show you the boots. Okay. But holy shit, dude! It's like God is like you know. All right, you're snowboard. Have some fun. I'm excited to have a friend that will be able to give me that kind of money or that kind of deal for such a small amount of money. But Scott and I talked about. It, he's like, you got to get him like, I, I'm gonna treat him to a nice round of golf or like a bottle like or dinner or something like that. It's going to be more than the price paid for sure. Love it. For that just to to do business with Cody Romero. Oh, in high school. Anecdote before we get to the next uh, off the cuff question. Back in high school playing baseball with Cody Romero. Love the guy. And uh, I always always used to always used to ask him like, "Hey, Cody Romero, what what does Cody Romero spend his motherfucking money on?" <laughs> he turn every time I ask him, he turn around Cutter Bell spent his motherfucking money on weed. <laughs> just every time without fail, just a gamer. Love to have both Romero's brother, Romero brothers as teammates. Solid dude. Shout out to the Romero's. Shout them awesome. out. Shout them out. All right. Um, what's your go-to order at Taco Bell? Taco Bell. Yes, sir. Um, one quesadilla. Or no, I'm sorry. One mm. cheesy roll-up because I'm a child deep down. Hey, nostalgia tastes Beefy good. Beefy five-layer burrito with Very extra good. sour cream. Extra. Yes. All right. Love sour cream. Economical. Um, typically, that's it. Just those two things. No way. Yep. Say you're hammered. You're in Chico. Tell me what you're really getting. They used those to have two a, things. They used to have a spicy quesarito that had like red sauce in it. That was my go-to. But you wouldn't get like a, a big double Taco decker. You're you know, really. All right. What's what's your go-to drunky meal? Back in the day. Yeah. Like what 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 really fast food restaurant you go to? Food. It's probably a healthy habit to have. Frat house. So. Ugh, my God. Well, I guess what was your guilty pleasure? What's something you overindulged on? Other than poontang. <laughs> um, beer dye. Just played a lot of beer dye. <laughs> Dude! No, we didn't. I didn't, like, eat a whole lot in college at all. Damn. Dude, um, I, just, I would pig out. Now I would... Oh, fuck. If I was, like... Your pig out. Hammered and I had my choice. Anywhere you're going to pig I out, my son. absolute choice. Anywhere you're going to pig out. I would probably go to. F- mm. You have to say five wing guys. Stop. Wing stop. And I would get like garlic. eighteen wings. Garlic parm. Garlic parm. Yes. Um, mango habanero. Respect. And then like classic hot with three or four ranches. Dunk the shit out they of them. They give you your money's fries. worth. Oh my god. They understand how that's much ranch it takes. They understand. And that's why I'll always it's say Wingstop's the goat. Wingstop is the goat. Yeah. Uh, very good. With ranch. There is no blue cheese. There's no such thing. I don't believe if it. You fucking like blue, blue cheese. cheese Turn gross. this episode off. Um, what color is your lightsaber? Purple. Ooh, a little uh, Mace Windu action? Yep. Darker purple, lighter purple, or spot on? I would say like a, a bright light purple. Is there any kind of spiral, something unique, like I say a spiral light going around it, or just you're straight, not trying to be if anything? Anything, more? it'd be like a, like it's cracked, <clears throat> all the way up. The light? No, the outside. So it's a clear, like a, a white light cracked through mm-hmm. it, with the purple. Is it just the age of the uh, the lightsaber itself? You just just balance, bro. Balance. You that balance, baby. Um, what's your UFC walk in music and what would your like your gimmick be? I assume this is something to do with your Austin the Executioner kind of persona. Yeah, I feel like you executor. would also be a UFC fighter as well. I f- that absolutely fits in to everything. Absolutely, tootin' lootly. Rootin' tootin'. Um, my song? Yeah. She. Mm. She. she. Um, probably would be Birds of War. So, mm-hmm. I don't boom, know the words. Clap, stomp, stomp, clap, stomp, stomp, clap. Just uh, that sound, just them. 
Oh, or the Shrek song that does that. Oh, that's a Led Zeppelin. Ah. Ah. Dun, dun, dun. The, the Immigrant Song. That'd be a great that's what one. it's called. That's in uh, Thor Ragnarok. That's go. a great song. Great song. Uh, your gimmick. Um, by gimmick, I mean Conor McGregor, great on the microphone, uh, style bender. He does anime stuff. Like every UFC fighter has something. Like if you're great, like you have something about you that nobody else can really duplicate. What would be your kind of gimmick, your thing? I would go other straight. Than, other than the executions and walnuts. Uh, to to Vasa fucking vibe and I drink with the people. You drink with the people? I, oh, after I wouldn't be a shoey. I'd be a throw me a full beer. I'd bite it, rip a shotgun of it on the side of the ring. That'd be my thing. We'd be, you'd be doing that in your 15th year. I feel like you'd be a long time UFC yeah. fighter. Well, all right, here's a question for you. How would your UFC career end? Would you be kind of like trailing off? You lose your championship and you have a bunch of unfortunate Losses, maybe a win, but then you eventually just kind of. I would defend it like three times and like just walk away on top. Walk away as the champion. Shotgun and beers. Damn, always gold, huh? That's it. Siempre oro. Uh, bet. What's a better word, shenanigans or flabbergasted? Shenanigans. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's good. I don't dislike your answer. What's your favorite bar? Don't you, don't you ask me that. Don't you ask me that. The world. Shenanigans. Oh, shenanigans. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I will pistol whip the next person in <laughs> such shenanigans. When's the last time you were flabbergasted? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, flabbergasted as in, like, couldn't speak, like, just, like, ooh, speechless kind of moment? Well, I guess, all right, so here, here's... Or does it include I, I got, a surprise? I got something to warm you up and then something afterwards where it's like, I, I would say more of like surprise, kind of like surprise emotion, just like, holy shit. But here's one. When you found out you're going to be a dad. So I have I have one exactly. I have one. I just need you to give, give me that I, I validation first. I want to find first. out what, what was it like when Rachel let you know? Uh, oh, that's a funny story. So, <laughs> We're, this is a show. We had on anecdotes, my lord. We had this plan, exactly how it happened. Mm -hmm. We went to Italy in December because our plan was to come back in January and just have sex. <laughs> and we came back in January, and it took like a week. And I feel really shitty, especially now, like. It's a weird thing once you like start to have kids and you're around people that aren't as fortunate as you to like be able to have kids. That I feel bad talking about this sometimes, but anyways, went in Italy to Dece in December, came back, humped a couple times, boom, hit Pater. But <laughs> it was like how I always let it be known on the top. <laughs> how I <laughs> always I imagined it was. I would come home and Rach would be like, hey, I'm not sure, but I'm going to take, like, let's take a pregnancy test. And she would take it and we would both be standing there and watching it and then it would come up pregnant and we'd be like, oh, jump with joy and hug and it'd be a glorious thing. Not how it happened at all. <laughs> how did it happen? <laughs> I was at baseball practice <laughs> coaching JV. And in the middle of practice, for whatever reason, I had my phone on me, which I never had my phone on me. And I'm getting a call, it's from Rachel. And normally if she calls me at work or whatever, I'll answer and I'll be like, hey, what's up? And she'll go, oh, I'm just calling to say hi. And I'll be like, okay. Like I'm actually, you know, in the middle of something, so can I call you back? Yep, okay, see ya. And that was it. So that's what I thought this was gonna be, and I answered, and I would go, hey, what's up? Is anything wrong? And she says, no, 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 nothing's wrong. But I could tell in her voice something was up. Hmm. I'm like, what's up? What was it? Like, she seemed a little trepidatious. I just, just knew. It was the timing of everything and, like, everything. I knew it. As soon as I answered the phone, I knew. And she goes, are you almost done with practice? And I'm like, no, we're in the middle of practice. Is something wrong? What do you need? And she goes, I got to tell you something. And they go, I knew. And I was like, okay, what? She goes, I just took a pregnancy test. I'm pregnant. She told you And I'm phone? fucking on the baseball field with all my JV kids. Oh, my God. And I'm God. like... Damn it, Rachel. <laughs> nice. I'm like, fuck yeah. That, like, 
super awesome. <laughs> that was what he said. Nice. Can I? I was like, <coughs> can I? Can I call you in a little bit? And she's like, yeah. And she's like shaking. I can hear her. And I'm like, fuck. And I want to be excited too, but like I can't now because uh, I'm around all these kids. I go to school with her. God, dude, you should have been like running around naked. Yep. And that's how it happened. <laughs> Found did out you like? Did you home. halt class? Like practice be like guys guys i'm a dad let's no, go no because we just found out so you gotta wait like you know a little bit after you find oh, out Oh, that's right that's make right, sure that's all's right. good yeah so then i couldn't even nobody was there that i could talk to whatever so uh, i'm not gonna say that's bittersweet but it just it sucks that you weren't able to be together for it i, I think 100 i mean put yourself in her shoes it's like you're the one. It's like I need to tell you. It's just well, like, she timing took, are just. She said she didn't think anything. She just took one just to like take one, mm-hmm. and then it came back pregnant, and then she just couldn't hold it in. Which I understand. I can only too, imagine. I can only imagine. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's all good. But you got that feeling like to figure out you're a dad, and just I feel like the moment you were a father. Coming from a guy who's not a father, but I don't know that my poetic mind, my story n- novelistic mind, the fact that you knew as soon as you talked to her is like, it's on. Did you feel something change inside of you, or uh... not really? Because like you'll understand this at, at some point yeah. in time. When you first find out, it's like very exciting, but it's almost more like shit. I just want to get through these next like two months. Yeah, like. I almost wish I didn't know for those two months mm. because then it'd be easier like to let it be known for sure because anything can happen and yeah. like there is nothing bigger in my fears than like finding out and then having something happen which that happens to a ton of people like you don't even realize that yeah. but it, it, uh, I won't say was, who but it ha- it's happened to somebody that I've known yeah for the past couple months Very, a lot just, of it's people. so sad and that that's something my mom brought to my attention I had no idea that like that was like a thing but you wait till like the first trimester or whatever to let people know just in case miscarriage happens and it's just I was like holy shit like that yep I, don't know, I was just so ignorant to so many things and possibilities and have I told her. you about how people found out your grandma. Yeah. <laughs> grandma. Shout out to Grandma Peg. Have her listen to this episode of the podcast. Shout out Grandma Shout Peg. Shout out Grandma Peg. Just letting everybody at Fortnightly know. Not Fortnightly. It was, Fortnightly, uh, uh, Fort it was the Winters. City of Winners Awards. Ah, that, that'll be the place to do it. I mean, when you're Grandma Peg, I feel like Grandma Peg is on the same level of elite as Jackie. Like, they're both just... Just reach just the, the level of, of... Fuck you. It's just... What can you do to her? Nothing. 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 She is untouchable. She is the best. There's nothing. The goat. Ain't, there's not many like Grandma Peg. Thank God Grandma Peg, because I wrote an article on the Fortnightly Club. Fucking Grandma Barb, who's been the uh, treasure for 50 years. I maybe got 12 words out of her. Thank God Grandma Peg is there. I was able to use her <laughs> quotes for half the article, just going on, just... She has the oh gift of gab. My, she is the gift of gab. But uh, moving forward, forward, forward. This forward is off the cuff. Look at us. Hey, hey, look at us. <laughs> I've been looking at us. I love us. I love that we're able to like just running brought us together, just doing the marathon and just random, just life. Look at us. Life. Look at us. Um, when's okay? I guess when's the last time you're flabbergasted? Fuck. All right, moving on. Oh, right. shit. I didn't even tell the flabbergasted. Yeah, flabbergasted. Story. Yeah. This is a good one, actually. It's going to be quick. Well, well, I won't check well. it on. We'll move on after this. I mean, Fla- last that. time I was flabbergasted was fucking three days ago. Rachel's finally <clears throat> popping, like looking pregnant, and her placenta's in the back. So, placenta's like, uh, ev- like the nutrition, like everything the baby gets nutrition from. And it's like a, basically, it's like a barrier. Sometimes it's in the front, sometimes it's in the back. If it's right. in the front, it will just actually, li- like, when the baby kicks, if it's in the front, it'll, like, you won't feel it as much because yeah. it's a barrier. Hers is in the back. So it's straight fucking skin. The baby. So you can really feel the baby, like, move and, and do stuff. Move. So three nights ago, we were laying in bed, and she was awake, and I was awake, and I had my hand on her belly, and... The baby moved, and I could feel it against her skin. Not like a kick. I could feel 
a body part. Oh. And it was with my fingers like this. And then down here, I would felt a little kick. So I knew like this was a foot and this was a foot. Or at least I... Well, confirm, Is it like a, a, a confirm today? Quick kick or yeah. like a slow, smooth but, mo motion? No, it's quick kicks. But this was a body part I could feel right here. So I felt it right here, and her and I were both laying there, and I went like this, like messing with it. And then right when I did this, she kicked she back. Kicked right here. Oh! And it was like, what the fuck? And then I went a second one, dude. Boom, boom. And I was like. Holy shit, this is like, that's the first interaction I've, mutual interaction. With who? With Charlie, my dad. Charlie, Charlie, I love Charlie! Yep. Yeah. So. Charlie C. CC. Yep. So that was like the first mutual. You're making me melt my own goddamn yeah. couch, you son of a bitch. Yeah, it's pretty. You and Rachel about to get, drop a Charlie on my ass? Yep. Yeah. Charlie and Peyton. With just an I. No E. Heart is eye. the eye gonna? Is she gonna spell with like a heart over the eye? Maybe. Dude, Charlie and Payne I about mean, to fucking. Charlie Cece and PG. The talent ain't ready for him. This <laughs> next, this next generation. Thank Until God. you get Dusty and Bo. <laughs> 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 Fuck, dude. Who's got Dusty? You got Dusty or Skyler? Skyler's Dusty. I'm Bo. Dusty Gertz. Bo. Yeah. Do <laughs> <laughs> I can dig it. Bo Calvert. Oh, that's all. So, yeah, that's the last time I was Dude, flabbergasted. That, that was is a like, flabbergasting moment, baby. It was just crazy because the first time I did it was like, oh, this is fucking new. Boom. But was she like, was Holy like, shit. she's like, all right, get, bring it on. Like, bring I it feel on, that. It, it was it was crazy, dude. Oh, my God. And the fact that it was two in a row was like, wow, like, that wasn't just chance. This is sentience. This is yeah. somebody who knows what's going on. It's crazy. That is nuts. Yep. Oh my god. A little living being is inside. That, how? That's just everything's a miracle. This is a living child inside of your wife right now, and she's carrying it. And just I asked Mo one time, Skylar's wife, people that don't know, like when she was still pregnant, are you gonna have kind of a little bit of separation anxiety in a real way? Because it's an intimate experience. Like you're there raising this because of you. This child is alive. The man, let's face it, there for a couple seconds. And it is all female all the way. Yeah. They are carrying it. They are bearing the emotional, the physical, like every sort of burden we can imagine. Could you could you carry a child for nine months? Could you imagine that oh, shit? Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm could you do it? 100%. How would you do it? How would you deal with it? Dude, like a savage. <laughs> would you still be doing squats at month eight? No. <laughs> I would just be laying in bed glutinous as fuck. Or oh, would you, just, would you ruin your husband? Or wife, because I guess males can get pregnant these days. No, I would just be fat as shit. I would gain 100 pounds. Yeah. Just do whatever I wanted. It's a get-out-of-jail-free card. And everybody praises you. Yep. You're like King Xerxes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, here's the next question. You ready for it? Yep. Traditionally, there is one-on-one -on -one naked combat in the off-the-cuff. Mm -hmm. But today, on August 31st, 2022, on the Trial and Aaron podcast... We call it the tap. Is the first ever off the cuff two on two <laughs> naked <laughs> call. <laughs> hey! We have Donald Trump and was it Mike Pence? Yeah. Naked, white, and saggy versus Biden and Harris. <laughs> 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 this is two on two naked combat greased up. Yes. This is on CNN and Fox and all the other slapstick fucking mainstream. I applaud. Media. I applaud the the political creativity of oh the question, my. but the realistic answer is it's not even close. Not even close. Donald J is just gonna Donald rip Kamala's throat out. I feel like he could beat them by himself. Sleepy Joe. <laughs> Sleepy <laughs> Joe. <laughs> He's just going to be wandering around, no, not wandering knowing what the around. fuck's going on. I feel like Pence will kill him. I feel like the real threat is Kamala. Naked, yeah, furious. I think uh, they understand what, that and they attack her first. What's her, what's her bush looking out. like? Big. Yeah, I bet. I bet it is. Dark. It, it's very Not scum, like Dylan A. Scummy. No, Dylan A. I don't Complete think opposite of Dylan A. Yeah, I don't think he's had a pube in his life. No, and it's if they pure, are, they're just thin, smooth. wiry. Um, but uh, Kamala, I imagine it's a huge bush. She lets a bush grow for every man she's uh, put in prison for weed. 
and she she gets off on it. And I think Trump, I, honestly, Trump could take them both on by himself. Biden is essentially a non-issue. Um, is Biden packing heat when he's naked? This is a pay-per-view, so. and you're the ref. You're gonna be like Dean Herb, like kind of sitting around. You're not, there's nothing Herb referee. Dean. Like it's a death match, Herb but you're, you're gonna be there for promotional purposes. Like you're gonna be a big sponsor, right? And um, I don't know. You, like if somebody's dead, you just put like a walnut on them during this. Put a walnut in them. In them. Oh, and then they know, like per, like perfectly situated in the butthole. So. These one-on-one naked combats, let's, are they on top of, like, a spire and an octagon? Like, how are you seeing these one-on-one naked combats? I prefer them to be on top of, like, a six-by-six-foot platform on top of a Mayan pyramid. What shape is it? Oh, on the Mayan pyramid. All right, so is there a big audience a around? Huge audience. And is there, like, a giant crevice between the arena and the audience? No, or is it right, water? They're right on the bottom. They're right on it? So when the loser dies you roll them down and the people they just eat them, them up and take them i feel like people can sell body parts well, like i got i got biden's finger yeah i mean i don't think they thought about that back then no I'm well now nowadays mind. now i'm talking nowadays everything's oh, I'm profitable talking, we're going back in time mm. um but Biden pence for sure kills kamala and biden trump pence trump pence yes. what i say biden pence yeah it's close uh, not close enough. Yeah. Yeah, anyways, uh, but you are correct. Absolutely. And uh, favorite subject in high school? What was it? Hmm. Talking a little Arnsky? Um, Shuttleworth, perhaps? Favorite uh, subject in high school? Yeah, dude. Was probably... Shit, I don't really like any classes, but <laughs> my favorite That's a big class... One. Was probably Miss G's Spanish class. Miss G is the truth. She is, if not my favorite teacher. I just like that she played music and like, it was just all cool. The question before the class, the Ica. Get a little extra, extra and credit. And a nickname. She could be an old. What was your nickname? Person. What was your nickname? Tito. Tito. Fue Soro. Fui. Fui Soro. <laughs> I like it. Then we went to Spain and Italy together. Went to Rome. That's awesome. Is G, just the truth. It was so down. I, I miss one of my favorite uh, experiences was like going to her place, like after school, whatever. If I need to finish a test or whatever, like help, I would go there and she would just help us out, help us study or whatever. One time I was there finishing a test. Marcus came over one time. I told him to do this. I, he can't get in trouble for this now, but uh, I had a trouble with the question. He like looked over at it. He kind of, I don't know if he went to the answer sheet or whatever. I th- just think he knew. He's like, no, no, no. It's that one. It's that one. Marcus Cross could help me out. That's awesome. <laughs> Helping your boy out. No, Marcus the homie. Um, most ruckus happening in college. Ruckus. What was a ruckus that you recall? It doesn't have to be something with you, but like something that you could think of that was just like, that was crazy, or just something that comes to mind. Something to ruckus at. Uh, where'd, where'd you go to college again? Uh, Chico. Uh, for Chico. Two years, yeah. Fresno for two and a half. Bold up. What was crazier? They were equal. Fresno's bigger, though. That's, that's, that's uh, something for Biggest Chico. ruckus in Chico. There's a tie between when I hopped the train. Hopped the train? I hopped the train in Chico, which is a felony. And I rode it to Yuba City. What do you mean, hopped a train? There we oh, go. I mean, I guess you can't get in trouble for this now. but No. Statue of limitations. <laughs> Um, no, there's a train that used to come through Chico hella slow, and, and one day me and my buddy hopped it. I'll tell the full story another time. But we rode that bitch to Yuba City, which was like Nobody checked an your hour ticket. and a half. It was a cargo train. Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? You want the whole story? Jesus, here we go. You hopped a cargo train. I got to take a piss for this. This is a great off the cuff. All right, sorry, like, just before I go take a piss. You hopped a cargo train that doesn't stop or did it stop for a little bit? Did not stop. How slow was it? Just pee and I'll tell you the whole story. It's a whole story. Holy sandwich. fuck. Oh, my. Intermission. 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 Nope. I'm good. Any chips? No. If you had hot Cheetos. Hey, that salad was really good. You're welcome. You hopped a cargo train? Yeah. Wasn't. Uh, pretty 
pretty soon. Alright, alright, alright. It's a wildly long podcast. It might be two or three episodes. <laughs> oh, fuck it! <clears throat> All right, we're back, we're back. Hop to cargo train. I need the story. Give it to me. All right, so in order to tell the story accurately, I have to give you a background Please. of... I lived in the ghetto of Chico, which is right next to the railroad tracks. And I'm talking ghetto, like our house has been broken into. One time we harbored a person running from police and transported him miles away to escape safely uh a lot of sketchy shit happened here should you be saying these things doesn't matter. Like, should, should i block this out or no, uh, it doesn't matter so we being me like my butte baseball best friends were clip samuel Klippenstein, crazy wild card mm-hmm. jake means crazy wild card me crazy wild card you were all crazy three. you would consider yourself a crazy wild card in college yeah that's dangerous that was the definition of crazy wild card in college really you have no idea that i would like to have an idea well i'm giving you a little bit one here Chase, can we get into this stuff later yeah like another podcast yeah oh god I like uh, calvi in college this, yeah yeah absolutely I, oh um, right, give me this give it how about a tease give me a tease uh, maybe we can't get into it on podcast because... I'm well, what you're thinking. telling right now, I guess, is the team. What I'm telling right now is totally good. Absolutely. So, us three best friends lived together with another guy named Drake, who was also a very good guy. He just wasn't down for, like, anything like we were. Not butt stuff. Sensible. <laughs> no. But you guys are all about butt stuff. So, we loved the movie Into the Wild. Have you seen Into the Wild? I have not, but I know wow. the, like, okay, the, the allure seriously. of it. I know, seriously, I know. Watch it. Like, I I'm know. not kidding. Watch Into the Wild. So in that movie, he hops a train. But it's a felony, which it also, I mean, it's based on true story, and that's also true. And if the train stops, the rail, whatever, engine fucking master, master guy, typically beats the shit out of hobos and then kicks them off instead of getting them arrested. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, proceeds. So, this is our favorite movie, and there's a train that goes by slow. What are we going to do but hop the train? So, we had agreed two months prior to this, or a month, we're gonna, next time it comes slow, we're going to hop on it. We all agree. Perfect. Three best friends. Here we go. When you guys were in slow, or I thought you guys were in Chico? I never said slow. We're in Chico. You're in Chico. Three best friends. Did I say slow? Yeah, it is okay. Well, but like you guys checked the schedule and knew when it was going to come. It used to go by every single day slow. We slow. There you go. Yeah, yeah. It used to go by slow, like not fast. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it used to okay. go by slowly. <laughs> Sorry. So we go, okay, we're hopping on it tomorrow. The next day, the train is blowing through town. For the next month, month and a half, however long it was, never went slow. And we're like, wow, we missed our chance. Yeah. I don't know why. Fast forward to Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo, we go downtown Chico, get obliterated. Good places, I'm cheap wearing, places? No, no, house parties. We never went to Oh, very good, to very bars. good. I had a American flag windbreaker that I brought, bought from the oh, thrift shop. perfect. And short, short American flag shorts. Clip, my best buddy, was dressed like a Vato. He went, op- he went Cinco de Mayo with it, so yeah. he had the, the khakis. Pulled up with a wife beater, tucked in, belt, okay? And I don't remember what Jake was wearing. No, no. Oh, my goodness. So we go and we get obliterated in Chico. We get back to our apartment complex. It's not dark, so it's probably like five. Mm -hmm. And I am just like, oh, I lay on the couch and I take my shoes off. And I'm laying there and they're all out front. The door's right there. It's open. And then all of a sudden, I hear Clip go, Calvert! The train! And I sit up, zombied, and I'm like, fuck. Here we go. And I hop up, no well, shoes You on. weren't like like so tired, you just wanted to go to sleep. You're like, I'm down for action. That's I what came to your mind. I heard his voice, and I knew 
it's go time. I sat up, I looked around, nobody was in there, they were all up front, and I ran out the front door. I looked to the right, and there's the railroad tracks. There's a fence, like a, where the dumpster is, like a backyard fence. Yeah. Then there's the, the bike path, and then there's a chain link fence to get onto the tracks. So Clip's already gone, and they're all right in front of me. They're like, dude, he's, on, he's out already. Go, go, go. It's just you two. So I start running, and I hop this backyard fence, and I fall onto the bike path hard. And I'm like, ah. But then I hear Clip, Calvin, come on. I look over, and he's right there, and I'm like, god damn it. So I get up, climb this chain link fence, fall onto rocks. Hard, sharp fucking rocks. Why didn't you land it? I was hammered. Oh my god. So goodness. I'm laying there and Clip's like, let's go. So I stand up, but I'm only in socks and these rocks. You're only in socks. Yeah, I took my shoes off on the couch. Oh, you And fuck. I got up and I ran out, hopped a fence, fell, hopped a fence, fell. Now I'm laying there and he's like, come on. I'm like, ugh. So I get up and I try to walk and I can't walk. So I'm sitting there and I go, Kiefer, who's another one of our friends, throw me your shoes. And I'm not making this up. I'm sitting in rocks. 10 yards, two fences. He can't see me. Throw me your shoes. Boom. Two Nike shoes. One, two. They land. Boom. Boom. In front of me. Left, right, five yards from me. Right side up. And I went, well, this is a, fu- this is a sign. This is going through your mind. So I grab the shoes and I put them on. And then I stand up. And here's Clip. Here's me. Here's the train. And it's going like five miles an hour. He was waiting for you. Yep. He goes, let's go. So we start running alongside it. And it's the cargo trains that like go like this. So there's a platform right here. Yeah. And there's a ladder. So he, he runs and he grabs onto the ladder, gets his foot on it, slips, and he falls. Luckily, is rolling away from the train. I hurdle him. Get on the ladder. I'm on it. So now I'm hanging on the ladder. You're the instigator. And it's going away. And I'm like, come on. So I like go across the side ladder and I get on the platform. Somehow I'm on the front of the platform. He ends up getting on the same car, but he's on the back platform. So we're on the same car. I'm on the front. He's on the back. And he's like, we're actually on. Just get in the middle and don't don't move. And I'm like, all right. So we're on this train going through Chico. You have a cell phone on you. Yes. And we're passing all these people and they see us and they're like, oh, let's fucking go. And we're like, oh my God, you're going (laughs) through town. Partying through Chico, dude. Oh my God. We get outside of city limits and it's still going slow. And he's like, wait, I'm going to come to you. So he climbs up the ladder, walks across the top, comes down. Now we're sitting together and I'm like, bro, we got to remember this. So I take a picture of us. Which I have on my Instagram. It was, can you send it to me tomorrow? Yeah. Oh. And I'm like, dude, this is glorious. Okay. I said, how how much batteries your phone have? And he goes, oh, my phone's dead. And I'm like, okay. I have fucking three percent. I'm like, all right, I'm just Are gonna you turn serious? it off. We'd already planned this out. If we ever got on the train, we were riding it until it stopped, and then we would figure it out. So I took the picture. Boom. Turned my phone off. For an hour and a half, we're on this thing. When it gets out of Chico, it was it was going five miles an hour, and then now it's fucking flying like death. Like if we couldn't, you couldn't get off. Like yeah. it was going that fast, you are dead. Like if you fell off, you're dead. Did you sober up? Uh, I mean, we were pretty sober by the time we got out of Chico. So you're just holding on, like okay. Well, we're we just, just sitting there because we're like on a platform. Yeah. And there's another car in front of us, so it's not like windy. It's windy to the sides. Oh, okay. It's like okay. being in a car. You're just sitting there. But then Clip's like, let's go up top. I'm like, let's fucking do it. So we climb up the ladder. This thing's going like 55 miles an hour probably, 45, 50, flying. So we're up on top of this car, sitting crisscross. <laughs> Wind is just howling. Are you still fucked we're up like, at this oh point? Oh, my God. No, we're pretty sober at this point. And then I just remember we laid down on our stomachs. And it was just, and then for a little bit, we laid down on our backs and just like looked at the clouds and the sky. And then we climbed back down and we sat. And then next thing I know, you know, however long, hour and a half later, it just locks up and it's just sliding to a halt. You guys made the most out of this experience. And then we looked at each other and went, this is our stop. We got to go as soon as we can. We're hopping off. 
So as it's like slowly come to a stop, we hop off. Where are we? Goddamn rice fields. Luckily, they're fairly dry. So we run across this rice field. We come out on a frontage road. And basically from there, we tried to hitchhike our way back. Nobody picked us up. We saw a cop. I went up to the cop car thinking, my daddy's a cop. He'll give us a ride. He rolled the window down two inches. I said, hey, our friends kicked us out. We're from Chico. We're just trying to get back. What, what can you do for us or what can you tell us? What advice? He goes, here's my advice. Stay out of the road. And he rolled his window up. And I looked at Clip and went, dude, we got to hike. Wow. So we ended up finding this little restaurant and we sat there and i finally was like all right we got to call jake you have your wallet on you i don't know we had nothing and there was no nothing. uber back in those days so i'm like all right turn my phone on three percent call jake jake's like bro i don't really have money you don't have gas like i don't think i can come get you guys him and clip were both from reno so Clip's yeah. like give me the phone jake if you don't come get us we're fucking stranded if you don't come get us I'm going to beat the shit out of you. You got to come get us. And he's like our <laughs> third best friend. Yeah. So then Jake's like, well, I don't know. Send me your location. So I send our location. Phone dies. Now it's dark. I have a picture of this too. And we're sitting there. Just either we're getting picked up or we're staying the night here and we'll figure it out tomorrow. Like an hour goes by and up rolls Jake. He picks us no up. Oh shit. Takes us to Taco Bell. We get home. What'd you get at that Taco Bell? A, fr- a roll no up idea. and a fucking... Oh, I don't my remember. God. That is a time and a half. That was a guy who's your friend. I, I don't know if I'd drive an hour to pick up my drunken, dumbass friend. If they were stranded with no way home, you probably Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Damn, yeah. that is by far more fun and crazier than I think anything I've ever done. Like, to be on a train? Yeah, it was. That's wild! It was pretty nuts. Oh, I love it. Well, that is an, indeed a uh, most ruckus time in college. I'll but show you these. Uh, I guess uh, we're, we're sticking to a college theme here uh, for the 10th question. The last question before I send you off on your way back into the wild. Off the cuff, celebrity snap up. Anybody. Who is your teammate and who are you playing against? And. Snap or beer die? Beer die. Beer die, okay. Excuse me. Beer die. Who is your teammate? Who you're playing against? And what are the stakes? Does it have to be a celebrity? Anybody you want. If I'm playing beard eye with anybody that I want in this anybody world, anybody in this it's world, it's my best friend from Fresno, Bryce Souza, my little bro. Yeah. In fraternity. Ah, very good. I would take us literally over anybody in this world. Who are the celebrities you're playing against? You can have anybody. Anybody. You can have Aaron Judge on your team. No, I have Bryce Souza. Who are you playing against? I'd take fucking MJ and LeBron. Both of them on the same team? And I'd still beat them. We were that good in college. Do you guys? We ran Fresno. No like, shit. I'm not kidding you. Respect? We we had a beard eye tournament in Fresno. You guys won it all. We made it easily to the finals. Yeah. Bryce disappears because the other end of the bracket was taking a while. 30 minutes later, championship game. This is for all the glory. This is what we did. Yeah. Bryce and I played beard eye all day every day yeah and this is like we breeze through we're about to breeze through this other team where's bryce oh where's bryce where's bryce can't find him he's at fucking agr oh here comes bryce blacked out drunk oh no can't balance can barely stand and i'm like dude this is our fucking thing and then we did not we fucking lost in the championship game but that's shout my, down. That's my boy. Because shout in to Bryce. I would have done the same thing, but you I was send him this way. podcast. You let him know what a piece of poo. I is. just talked to him on the way here. Oh nice. But no, I'm I'm not joking. Like we would handle we would handle anybody. Respect, dude. How, how nice is the uh, relationship between a big and a the little? There's something different. Cool. It's like yeah, you're friends, but like it sucks that some people don't get along. They don't have that good relationship. But I had a great relationship. Have great relationship with my big. I was one of his groomsmen. And my little, I haven't talked to him in a minute, but like we're we're good. Like. I, I really enjoy Zach. It, it's he's one of those people. If I talk to him today, say I didn't talk for twenty years, it'd be like it pick call back. Right? Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, it's so easy. Um, yeah, shout out fraternities. But dude, you've answered every question. I think we've had. This has been the best podcast I've had in a while. I fucking love it, Calvi. That's how we do. Three hours. You you remind me why uh, why I do this thing. It is three hours. I'm not sure. I don't think because I only have like fifteen gigs left of memory on my computer. 
phone's fine, but I'll figure it out. I'm thinking this might be like two or three episodes. Not nah, even worried about People it. People are gonna love it. I love you. I love you, buddy. Go, oh, Calvi. God damn it. Thank you, baby. Oh. Very good. Love you, Calvi. Thanks for coming on the tap, baby. Again, the most heralded, <laughs> the most storied, and often guest on the tap. Look at you. You're part of the tap. Calvert, finish yeah. your fucking run. Don't be a bitch. Come in. I know you're oh, tired. Tell future Calvi. You're, ooh, I'll save this one for the mar- half marathon, but we'll be done by the time that we get to this part. But Pretty much. This is a long pod. At some point, I'll listen to this while I'm running and just, dog, you're tired. I get it. Tell yourself have a beer afterwards. Stay hard. Finish strong. Stay hard. Booyah. Sip it down. Yeah, baby. Cheers. Beep. Beep. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> You lose! Good day, sir!